Hey guys, welcome to a new video. My name is Jason, and today we're going to be talking about how to set up Anderson power pole connectors. Now, a ton of power stations and portable solar panels are starting to use these, and while they're an awesome connector, now what you see here are all the smaller sizes. These are 30 amp connectors. They also support 15 amp and 45 amp connections. In this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to buy. Let's get started. Okay, so one of the first things you're going to want to buy is your cable. Now, this is actually landscape cable. It works extremely well. It's UV resistant and it's great for solar panel extensions or just powering things around camp. It's copper wire. It's very durable. And this is what I'm going to be using in this video. You can also do 14 gauge or 16 gauge, but I always recommend doing 12 gauge just so you have the least amount of voltage drop in your system. So once you've chosen the wire you're going to use in your project, this is everything else you're going to need. You're going to need your pairs. So when you purchase Anderson power pole connectors, they come in these types of connections. So they'll have equal number of plastic connections and then the actual contact points inside. You're going to need some, a good pair of wire strippers, um, some super glue and the actual crimping tool. And that's everything that you're going to need. Let's go ahead and show you a little bit closer about the crimping tool. Uh, it gives this nice handy guide for the type of connection and the AUG wire that you're supposed to be using. And then you can see this one supports 15, 30, and 45 amps. Okay, so I wanted to show you how they connect together and the right orientation. So how I remember is I put the positive on the left and the negative on the right. And I have like this little part that looks like a tongue is on the bottom. So now they have these little grooves so they fit inside of each other. So I'd like to put a dot of super glue here and then I hurry and slide it together like this. So then these aren't gonna misalign. So let me go ahead and put a dot of super glue there and show you what it looks like when it's done. Teeny bit, not much at all. And that's it. Now a little tip when you're gluing them together, you just slide them together and you know, they might be a little uneven. So then what you do is you push them down on a flat surface and it lines them up perfectly. So what my plan is today is to make this three foot extension cable. So I have both sets um, glued and put together. Now what I need to do is take my wire and I'm gonna separate the two conductors and I'm gonna strip back just enough and I'll show you that a little bit closer. Okay, so I have my wire um, split and then I stripped off the ends there. And now you can see how much is basically just the same amount as the connector here so it can slide over and get crimped on. So you don't want to strip it too much, but just about there and you're good to go. Okay, so once you get them stripped, you just want to put on the actual connection. So you just slide it on. Sometimes it helps to give it an extra twist because it's got a, it's like almost the exact right size. Okay, so they're both on there. So if you look at this landscape wire, sometimes it has some ridges and I like to treat that as the negative side. So this side is the negative side. So looking inside the connection, it needs to go up and over. So what we'll do is we'll flip it, flip them over like this. So when we crimp them, it's gonna go up and over those tips there. So ridge side negative and you're going to crimp them like this and then it slides in so let's now that they're oriented correctly let's go ahead i'm going to sp split these up just a little bit more and we're going to crimp this you want to make sure that you don't move it and let's go ahead and crimp it now you're, when you're crimping sometimes um, it twists a little bit so what i like to do is hold it really level um, i just you put it into the crimper like that and just crimp it down. So then what you want to do is make sure your other side is lined up the same orientation. So I'm going to make sure that's lined up and then we're going to crimp this side now. So I like to hold it out like this. These are 30 amps. So you put them in the 30 amp and squeeze it down. So sometimes they come out, they're not perfect, but uh, these ones came out pretty nice. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can slide on the connectors now. Okay, so now we have our 
setup connections. This side is the bumpy negative side. So then you just take your connector, sometimes it's a bit stiff and they click in, you'll hear a click. And then you can see that they clip over the little metal piece inside. So now it won't come off. Now, if you ever have to remove these or you mess up, you just take a little teeny screwdriver and you pry that up and then you can pull it off. So, but that's one side connected. Let's go ahead and do the other side. Okay, so I have it split and then I have it stripped. I'm gonna go ahead and take the connector here, slide it on. Now you see I did have one sticking out. That's okay, we'll cut that later. Each wire that you buy is different, so it's gonna have differing sizes. Sometimes it's really annoying what sticks out. So I have my negative bumpy side this side, and it needs to go like this. So they're both kind of the curve is up. Let's go ahead and crimp these. One flying. Okay, I got one side crimped. Just gonna line them up so they're the same. Put it in the crimper. You can crimp them twice sometimes, especially on the smaller wires. I like to do that. Okay, so we have one wire hanging off on this side. I have these very fine clippers. So what I like to do is just get it at the base and then chop it off. So now it's gone. I'll include all the parts I used in the description of the video. Okay, so bumpy sides negative, negative. Let's go ahead and put them together. Sometimes one side will snap in and the other won't, but those both snapped in good. So there you go. Now what's awesome about Anderson power pole is you cannot connect them backwards. So you can't, you know, mix up polarity. They snap in very nicely, unsnap, snap in, unsnap. So there we go, three foot extension cable. Hopefully this video helped guys. Um, I don't know, I've, I've never really looked up finding out how to do this on YouTube, but I'm sure there's other videos out there, but this is the way I do it. There might be different ways, but Anderson power pole connections, they're awesome. Thanks guys for watching, share the video, give me a thumbs up if you like the content. We'll see you guys later.